The advancement of technology has changed the lives of so many and we can now extend our lives and improve comfort. One of those ways is replacing parts of our body with mechanical devices. Did you know that Barbara Bush had her hip replacement surgery in 1997 at age 72? Her husband, George W. Bush, underwent his hip replacement in year 2000 at age 76. In 2013, a 51-year-old Steve Carroll underwent a total hip replacement. A 55-year-old Arnold Schwarzenegger underwent a hip replacement in 2002. Michael Douglas at age 65 underwent a total knee replacement in 2009. Knowing there are solutions out there that can replace our degrading bodies is comforting. First, we have to understand the problem. We will look at the common cause for hip and knee replacement. In 2017, there were more than 300 million cases of hip and knee osteoarthritis reported worldwide. In this video, we look at companies that are breaking ground in the hip and knee replacement industry. These stocks are money makers and have made investors 1,500% in the last 20 years. If you invested 200,000, you would now be having 3 million with these three stocks. So relax, smash the like button and enjoy this video. What is osteoarthritis, you may ask? It is the inflammation of the bone and joint cartilage. It is the wear and tear of the bones and joints. It is the progressive loss of the articular cartilage which leaves both bones in direct contact with each other causing friction, inflammation and pain. This mostly affects weight-bearing joints like the knee, hips and lower spine. So, how can one avoid getting this degenerative disease? Some people are bound to get it due to genetics. Some through neurological disorders. It can be a side effect of some medications. This ranges from blood pressure medication to cholesterol lowering drugs, asthma inhalers and antibiotic medication. Joint injury can also lead to osteoarthritis. Obesity is another factor. But the most common and unpreventable cause is age. The three stocks we will look at are Zima Biomet, Striker Core, and Smith and Nephew PLC. We have established that there is a serious problem that needs to be solved, and the industry is a specialized space where only skilled personnel are needed. So, anyone with capital cannot just enter the space and become a competition. This industry is reliant on trust and recommendations. Doctors and surgeons would only advise and utilize devices they are well trained in and devices that deliver the best results. Research has found surgeons stick with their preferred vendors and sales rep for 5 to 15 years and use that vendor for approximately 95% of their orthopedic procedures during that time. And most of the replacement hips and knees have a lifespan of 15 to 20 years. So, new competition will find it hard in stealing existing customers and prospective customers will choose a company that is popularly used. Wait, are people spending money to fix their hips, knees, spine, shoulder, knuckles, rib, and dental? Is this a billion dollar business? Zima Biomet generated $7.9 billion each in 2018 and 2019 and $7 billion in 2020. They have a current ratio of 2.39 and a debt to equity ratio of 0.63. Striker Core generated $13.6 billion in 2018, $14.8 billion in 2019 and $14.3 billion in 2020. They have a current ratio of 2.27 and a debt to equity ratio of 0.97. Smith and Nephew PLC generated $4.9 billion in 2018, $5.1 billion in 2019, and $4.9 billion in 2020. They have a current ratio of 2.76 and a debt to equity ratio of 0.70. A company with a current ratio of less than one does not have the capital on hand to meet its short term obligations if they are all due at once. So, these three stocks have good current ratios. 
Generally speaking, debt to equity ratio below 1 would be seen as relatively safe, whereas ratio of 2 or higher would be considered risky. These three have a safe debt to equity ratio. Now, these three look perfect. Surely, it is very profitable to fix joints. You should note that only 40% of Smith & Nephew PLC's income comes from orthopedic products. So, it is understandable if you do not take them as a direct competition to Zima Biomet. Although Striker Core makes more money than the other two, it remains one of the three largest competitors in reconstructive orthopedic implants and holds the leadership position in operating room equipment. Zima Biomet holds the leading share of the reconstructive market in the United States, Europe, and Japan. Roughly 60% of total revenue is derived from the sales of large joints. Another 22% comes from extremities and trauma. The remaining portion is primarily related to the spine and dental products. They are the real terminator makers. The Rosa Knee System supports surgeons in performing total knee surgery. It is not a surprise that Zima Biomet has a futuristic robot for brain procedures. Rosa One Brain is a robotic platform that assists surgeons in performing complex neurosurgical procedures. Zima Biomet this year plans to launch the Persona IQ, a next-gen version of a successful personalized knee implant that will incorporate a sensor. Zima Biomet appears to be at the forefront of smart implants, and the Persona IQ should start driving revenue in late 2021 and early 2022. This is why I am leaning towards Zima Biomet. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like, smash the like button. Remember to subscribe. Cheers.